Hello, my name is Max Pronka and in this video I would like to talk about Amazon Simple Email Service as part of Tech Review Tuesday series where I review different Magento 2 extensions, libraries, even SDKs, frameworks in order to provide my opinion, technical and non-technical perspective on tools which you can use on daily basis. Let's roll the intro. I have a really great news. So, uh, as you may heard, I have a website broncoconsulting.com and this website, I've launched or re relaunched this website and now it's on a Magento 2 platform and I'm really happy and excited to share with you this uh, news. So, uh, with, with the release which we did previous week, one of the goals or tasks was to find a way, find a solution on emails which have to be sent to uh, clients or customers as well as to our inbox uh, account. So the thing if you uh, aware about configuring uh, different uh, servers, infrastructures or instances for Magento 2 or any other um, platform but specifically in Magento 2 the thing is that default uh, mail functionality or the instance from which you send uh, emails or server sends emails as part of order confirmation email or newsletter subscription, transactional and non-transactional emails are coming into a spam directory of um, your inbox. And this is a big issue. For example, if a customer purchased uh, uh, something from your website and order confirmation email somehow would appear in a spam folder and customers may not be aware that this is something they have to check. Same with from your side. For example, if you have contact us form on your website and customer would like to contact you and ask uh, different questions related to your products or services, uh, this email could appear in your uh, spam folder. So this is kind of you could potentially miss your um, lead or client or customer and may not be in a position to respond in a timely manner. So this happens when you set up in our case Magento and start sending without deeper investigation on how to solve the issue and you start using uh, out of box um, post fix. Usually this is a post fix service which comes uh, together uh, with Ubuntu operation system. And this post fix as part of your server is not certified or doesn't have enough certificates or authority. Your server doesn't have enough authority to send emails from, uh, from this instance. This is how it happens that uh, this uh, email comes into a spam folder. The solution might be, there are actually a couple of solutions. Um, Magento open source, Magento 2 open source provides uh, email marketing. Uh, this is a service provided by .mailer. However, .mailer is not cheap. Uh, the starting price as far as I remember is like $450 per month or something. It's not very affordable for 80% of Magento open source users. So it's, it wouldn't be an option in my case uh, to go with, my, uh, with dot .mailer and pay them like huge amount for my transactional emails. Second option, what you might consider or what I checked. And I also uh, recorded a video on how to configure MailChimp. So MailChimp is also a cloud-based email provider for sending transactional and non-transactional emails. However, they do provide some uh, free quote uh, up to 2,000 um, subscribers for sending uh, newsletter emails or campaigns. However, MailChimp as a service does not provide transactional service and for transactional service you would have to go with uh, its kind of partnership or something or it's a child service MailChimp provides. It's called uh, MailDrill as far as I remember. And this MailDream with a MailDream with some kind of subscription 
10 to 25 dollars or so uh, you can have uh, your transactional emails configured so this is the second option third option you can go with you can go with aws simple email service and this is a service which um, if you are using aws services if you use ec2 instance you would be familiar that aws provides tons of different tools which you can use in order to set up your infrastructure set up your production environment and make your life easier so what i thought is that it would be a great idea to set up amazon simple email service for my website promcoconsulting.com and configure it as um, to to be my email service for transactional emails like order confirmation email newsletter subscription and subscription contact us form and so on i really wanted to have uh, this experience where i would receive a contact form uh, from my client or customer or potential uh, client in my inbox instead of spam so i decided to configure aws uh, SAS or simple email service and as it says from a uh, their official documentation that this is a cloud-based email sending service designed to help digital marketers and application developers send marketing notification and transactional emails so in my case it's transactional emails i would like to send them using aws SAS. i'm still going to use if i didn't tell you i'm going to use mailchimp for sending my newsletter campaigns and AWS SaaS for transactional emails. So this is kind of a win-win solution. The benefits are, apart from high deliverability, is that this is a cost effective. What it means is that if you have a small volume of transactional emails you have to send, that this uh, service, especially when you're running from a AWS EC2 instance, the first uh, 62,000 of emails uh, are going to be free of charge. So this is kind of a very great competitive advantage compared to other uh, email cloud-based providers. So this is a great thing to consider and that was the reason I decided to go with this uh, SaaS solution. Also, what I found out that if you would Google or I, what I did, I just simply Google uh, how to configure AWS SaaS on my Ubuntu and there is an official documentation which shows steps uh, step by step how to configure um, this service on your Ubuntu 16.04 uh, operation system so you can configure it as part of your Magento 2 server so this is uh, I would say step number two step number one if you will go to AWS management console and say and open simple email service so this is a zero step, I would say, after you would decide that you are going to uh, use this service. First thing, you have to create a domain. In my case, I created two domains just in case. So I found out that uh, www is my primary and it has to be verified. So as you can see, I have all verification statuses set to yes and enabled for sending yes. Everything is fine. Once you will create a new domain, you have to go to SMTP settings and use server name and create uh, click create my smtp credentials button you will get username and password for your smtp server and this information can be used in order to configure your ec2 instance so this is a step, a step number two step number three when you will have your domain you have to provide um, update your dns records and you have to provide verification to identify that you can use your domain as part of uh, this service and you can send emails so this is a trusted domain you can use so you have to provide a txt record you have to provide D dkim uh, so this is domain key identity uh, messaging or something like this you have to provide five new records dns records which will allow you or Amazon to understand and verify your domain. Once you will do this part and all these preparations are going to be as part uh, of your sandbox environment, you would have to test it. So you will configure um, your EC2 instance and from Magento, for example, you would want to test, as in my case, you would want to test um, a contact us form. So 
what you have to do, you have once you will configure Magento part like stores configuration, um, stores emails, or con and you will enable contact us form. You have to add uh, trusted or verified email addresses, so you can use these addresses to to test um, your SaaS integration or email service. So once you will add it, you will verify. You would also have to confirm it. The email will be sent to to this uh, address, you will confirm it, and then you can start using and testing this uh, service. Once you will be happy with the service, everything is configured and tested and you are ready to go live. The final step you have to do, AWS um, requires you to create, to go to support uh, center and create a support ticket saying that uh, you would like to, it's called to limit increase, says sending limits. You have to you would have to provide uh, answer five or so different questions in order to uh, provide additional information for AWS support team on why you need to use this uh, service, what is the purpose, how are you going to collect uh, subscribers, how are you going to subscribe them and subscribe them, what is your policy for bounce rate, and so on. I also forgot to show you that once you will configure everything under uh, sending statistic, you will start getting information on your rate limit and rate limit is 20 emails per day and some deliverables, different metrics you can use in order to see what's going on uh, with your uh, email service as well as reputation dashboard which shows that bounce rate and uh, complaint rate from your um, receivers uh, are green or these metrics are green. So this is kind of uh, an experience I went through. I'm, I would say I'm kind of happy with the service. I'm still waiting for final confirmation that I can use this um, SaaS service and send order confirmation or transactional emails. I'm having contact us form and newsletter su subscription success and success emails. Uh, it's a matter of AWS support team to confirm that my domain uh, can be used or this service can be used together with my website. So hope you found this video um, interesting, informative, and you would consider using AWS SaaS. It's not a promotional video. I just sh wanted to share my experience, how I, uh, what options I considered, and how I configured this uh, service for my. Uh, prongoconsulting.com website. Don't forget to subscribe, click this bell icon and I will see you. I will see you in my next video. Bye.